Hi, this is going to be a video response to GQ Prepper Survivor Gear giveaway. So one of the things I think that is not mentioned a lot is actual hard copy of knowledge, information. Um, well, I know we all get a lot of information through YouTube, but in a SHTF, that's probably not going to be there if you don't know it you're gonna need books and I say books because I feel that um, any electronic thing is it's gonna fail so if you're if you have an e-reader and you have all your information on an e-reader that's gonna fail so a lot of times if something goes wrong at the house um, I'll just get on YouTube and see how to fix it but if I can't do that I'm gonna need a book fixing your house. Uh, if it goes longer, you know, you may want to build stuff or you need first aid, other medical emergencies. Um, for a longer situation and you run out of medicines, you might want to have to learn how to do that. So, I mean, that's part of your preps. You're probably studying up on that now, but it's nice to have a book because you can't remember everything. Gardening. Um, I have this books, you know, you may someday, if you had to, make your own book and more gardening stuff. So accurate timekeeping during uh, SHTF. If it's going to fail, that's when your watch is going to fail. Um, your battery will die and you won't have a new one. So mechanical watches. Um, this automatic one. I picked up at a garage sale. It works pretty good. It probably needs to be cleaned, but I'm not going to spend more than... Eventually I'll find a good one. Uh, this watch is is my uh, father's old Bulova from 1962, I think is what the date is. 50 years old. It's still running excellent. Keeps excellent time. Um, important... Not so important as for day-to-day -day living of uh, SHTF, but uh, navigation, it's very important to have accurate time. Um, maybe some tactical, you know, stuff to synchronize. You need some, some standard, and, and the sun is just not accurate enough usually for that. So... Just something to think about. Um, I'm enjoying watching everybody else's responses to this contest. And looking forward for many more because it would be nice if we'd get up to 50 on this.